Hi everybody, it's Jen with OpenSource.com and I'm bringing you the top five articles this week. Uh, this is Thanksgiving week in the U.S. and so we're bringing you the top five video a little bit early this week. You'll see the article on Saturday as usual and there are links in the notes below to all the articles that we talk about here in the top five. So um, I wanted to also add that we're super thankful for everybody in our OpenSource.com community. Thank you for supporting, reading, and sharing with us. Um, and we hope to continue on very strong in 2015. So let's hop into the top five. Open Food Network connects you with local sustainable food. Eric Bowen writes this article. He's a social entrepreneur based in Durham, North Carolina. He has been using Linux since purchasing Red Hat 5.2 on CD at a Best Buy in middle school. He founded Go Market NC to reduce barriers between farmers and eaters in North Carolina, and he directs the North American Outreach for the Open Food Foundation as they work towards their U.S. launch. In this article, read about his journey to develop Open Food Network, a food hub and connector between small farmers and places to sell their local sustainable food. You can find them on GitHub. At number four, a look back and a look ahead for OpenStack. There's a lot of interesting stuff being written and discussed about OpenStack, and our editor for OpenStack at OpenSource.com, Jason Baker, is on the case. Every week he shares a sampling of awesome links and reads with our readers. At number three, six tips for adopting open source. David Etz, chief technologist of Red Hat's U.S. public sector, shares six tips to increase your agency's adoption of open source software and keep it secure. David wrote this with governments in mind, but we noticed that many of these tips were great advice for businesses too. At number two, we have 2014 Year of Open Source Miracles. Gunnar Hellickson, Chief Strategist for Red Hat's U.S. Public Sector Group, writes passionately about vulnerabilities in software. He points to this year as a year that has seen scary software vulnerabilities like Heartbleed and Shellshock. But he says open source software is still just software, and vulnerabilities are to be expected. Gunnar says that despite the hype, this year has been one of open source miracles because of how effective the open source community has been in responding to these vulnerabilities without dis diminishing the seriousness of the flaws themselves. Finally, at number one this week, we have our poll asking readers which open source gadget is at the top of their 2014 holiday wish list. Um, we have over 300 votes to the poll, and I bet you're probably wondering which gadget is taking the lead. The Firefox OS smartphone is way ahead with over 200 votes. Firefox OS for mobile smartphones are the first of their kind and based entirely on open web standards. Emily Price for Mashable tells us, that means everything on the phone is running in a web browser. Mozilla is not going after the type of customers who are obsessed with the screen size, and type of processing power of their device, it's targeting customers who just need to communicate with the world around them, and it's giving them a much more feature-rich way to do so. These smartphones by with the Firefox OS are available at select locations worldwide from an inexpensive price, price of $35 to over $100. That's it for our top five this week. Thanks so much for joining me. See you next time.